For this session, we will try to solve a differential equation using power series solution near an ordinary point. To find the series solution at x equals 0 for the equation, d squared y over dx squared plus x minus y dy over dx plus 2x minus 3y equals 0. Since x equals 0 is an ordinary point of the equations, then the equation has a power series solution centered at x equals 0. Then the solution of the differential equation has the form y is equal to summation of a n x raised to n from n equals 0 to positive infinity. And then that can be expanded and then simplified into a sub o y sub 1 plus a sub 1 y sub 2 since uh, a second order differential equation has two arbitrary constant for the, differ uh, for the general solution. Since there are no singular points, the solution will converge for all values of x. The, if y is equal to the summation of a n x to the n, the first derivative of this will give you dy over dx. Then applying the power rule, bring down n here, then the power of n minus 1 for the first derivative. So take note that at n is equal to 0, the first term will be 0, so you, the initial index should start at n equals 1. For the second derivative of y, so differentiate this. So bring down n minus 1, and then the power minus 1. Now take note that one, when n is equal to 0, and n is equal to 1, the first two terms would be 0. So uh, for the second derivative, the power series should start at n equals 2. Substituting the power series in the original equation for y, y prime, and y double prime, then we will have the following. So this is your uh, y double prime, this is your y prime, and then your y. And then you have the coefficient x minus 1 here to x minus 3. Okay. And then we try to simplify. So distribute x or multiply x by uh, the series followed by negative 1 times the same series. And then 2x times the series. And then negative 3 times the same series. Okay, so what? So we copy the first term. And then for the second term, x times x n minus 1 will give you x raised to n. And minus 1 times this is negative. 1 times the series and then for the third term multiply x by x to the n will give you x raised to n plus 1 and then minus 3 just copy the series so we now have five terms so we'll take this as your first term the second term the third term the fourth term the fifth term. So, now, let us check the, the power of x as, at the initial index. Now, so, for the first term, it starts with 2. So, substitute in the series, and that gives you x raised to 0. 2 minus 2 is 0. 
And for the term 2, the initial index is 1, and that gives you x raised to 1. For the third term, at n equals 1, that gives you x raised to 0. Term 4, at n equals 0, that gives you x raised to 1. At term 5, that gives you x raised to 0. Okay, now to combine similar terms, all terms must have the same power of x no? at the initial index. So, we consider the one with the highest power of x, which is x raised to 1, and then compute for the initial index for terms with x raised to 0. For example, in term 1, the power is x raised to 0. So compute for n equals 2 so that it will start with n equals 3. And then the power of x would be x raised to 1. So at n equals 2, that gives you 2, 2 a 2. And then we let k be equal to n minus 2 for the original power. And then the series is now, in terms of x, it will now be a sub k plus 2 times k plus 2 times k plus 1 x raised to k. And the uh, initial index is at k equals 1. If n is equal to 3, the value of k is 1. And then for the second term, uh, the initial index is 1 uh, at x raised to 1. Okay, so we let k be equal to n, and then in terms of k, you get a sub k times k x raised to k at k equals 1 to positive infinity. For term 3, since the initial index started with x raised to 0, so we compute for the series at n equals 1, and that gives you negative a1. And then for the remaining terms, which starts with n equals 2, we let k be equal to n minus 1. And then the series is, the series is now, in terms of k, will be a sub k plus 1 times k plus 1 x raised to k. So your, your initial index will start from 1 to positive infinity. And then for the fourth term, it starts with x raised to 1 at n equals 0. So we let k be equal to n plus 1. The new series will be a sub k minus 1 x raised to k. For the fifth term, we compute for n equals 0. Okay, substitute that gives you negative 3. We have negative 3 here. a sub a sub o. And then, if k is equal to n, okay, uh, we will have negative 3 summation of x uh, a sub k times x raised to k from k equals 1 to positive infinity. Now, we substitute everything, okay, in the original equation, and then we add all the terms, so we will have the following. Okay, so we can now combine all those those terms with x raised to k and then combine the constant terms. No? So we will have the following 2a sub 2 minus a1 minus 3a. 2a2 minus a1 minus 3a sub o. And then for the... Uh, again, for the power series, we have the following. Combine the, uh, rather the coefficients of x raised to k. So they have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then x raised to k. Now since this is... Mm, uh, homogeneous differential equation, the right-hand side is equal to 0, 
we apply the identity property okay equating each uh, term by uh, each term to zero so we get 2a2 minus a1 minus 3a sub o equals zero and that gives you a2 equals one half a1 plus 3 over 2a sub o we solve for uh, the one with the highest subscript since we want to express everything in terms of a sub o and a sub 1 and then for the other coefficient we for the uh, uh, x raised to k we equate, we equate the coefficient to 0 and then the highest subscript is a sub k plus 2 Okay, so solve in terms of a sub k plus 1, a sub k minus 1, a sub k. Now take note that your k here starts from 1, 2, 3, and so on. So we compute for the subscript at starting at k equals 1. So a sub 3 is equal to 1 over 6 a sub o plus 1 half a1. And then k equals to a sub 4 is equal to 1 over 6 a sub o. k sub 3 will give you negative 7 over 60 a sub o minus 1 over 20 a sub 1. Now, expanding the power series will give you the following, no? And since we try to express everything in terms of a sub o, a sub 1, okay, we substitute. Okay, so this term is from the previous solution. This is your a sub 2. Okay, this one is your a sub 3, a sub 4, and so on. Okay, then... Combining the, the terms for a sub o and a sub 1, we get the final, final answer for the second order differential equation.